An amount of rage and sadness overpowered me. Tears started pouring out from my eyes. I felt like an old toy being disposed. I felt like the family member that is put in a home and forgotten, in complete solitude. Even though I was surrounded by the presence of many, none of them was you. I closed my eyes hoping you would appear, my dear. You made me feel like a princess. You stole my breath with every kiss. When you caressed my skin, I felt I was being touched by an angel. I didn't see evil within you, yes. I saw fear, but not malice. I don't understand all the situations you have been through or all the insecurities within you, but I need you because you're the book that I always wanted to read but I couldn't get my hands on, either, it would, either because it was too expensive or it was out of stock. Anyone would give up anything just to read the pages that you let me read. How fortunate would I be to stumble upon such a masterpiece again? I have come to accept no matter how good, how good a person's intentions are, it might just not be the right moment. But if you wait for the right moment, you might wait for the rest of your existence. I wish you'd be in my shoes for some moments, just so you could see, just so you could feel, just so you could hear the magic that you are. If you were an ocean, I'd drown myself in you, just to see what's at the bottom. I can't be your friend because at the end of the night, I want to be in your bed, not for what you're thinking, but because the night makes us more sincere. You're hurt with all the hurt, the happy, the mad, is my favorite of them all. I hope no one reads you the way I was able to, uncensored. But now that I have read you, or now that I have read parts of you, I have questions, and I know that answers won't come. So I'll leave my review and my personal thoughts that my answer is no, but I'll say yes, so don't go.